everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and you are watching Growing Green. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here to my channel, hi, welcome, my name is Rachel. I run my own small houseplant business here in New Zealand and this is my YouTube channel. So today's video is all about my preparation for the Hamilton Plant Lovers Market. If you don't know what that is, that is a plant lovers market held in Hamilton. Um, it is a biannual event and um, yeah a lot of really great vendors go. A lot of them are actually small houseplant businesses. There are a few bigger businesses in there but a lot of them are actually small businesses or individuals just wanting to sell some plants and I'm super super excited. Um, well I was super excited. <laughs> Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this footage anyway. I didn't really want it to go to waste. I still wanted to see the prep that I have been putting in and the hard work I've been putting in behind the scenes for this market for you. Um, so yeah, let's just watch on and you will see exactly what happens. Alrighty, houseplants. So, obviously houseplants are going to be the most important part of this market because it's a houseplant market. So I'm going to show you how I am prepping my houseplants. Um, anyway, just to give you kind of like a scale of how long it's taken me to prep for the plants for these, I paid for my spot in the market in March. So beginning, I think it was at the beginning or end of March, somewhere in March. So I've been prepping for it since then. So that's months of prep. I just went hardcore, chopped up all my plants, I've been propagating heaps. And now I'm gonna go through everything and actually officially kind of see how many of each plant I have to take and how many plants I have in total. Um, also, I apologize if it kind of looks a little bit foggy. It's very nice and hot and humid in here today, which is fantastic, but um, it's not that great for the camera, so. So let's get into it. So this is my Hoya shelf up the top here. This is kind of where like most of my Hoyas was and a little bit down there. Hoyas were, that was great English. But now I have put some of the plants that I'm taking down here and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna put labels on them, what type they are and how much I'm selling them for. And I'm gonna do obviously a little bit more repotting and stuff as I go because there's still two months at this point. Oh yeah, by the way, it's the 20th of July today. So there's still two months to go at this point. So they'll have enough time to settle in the new pots before I sell them on. One of the major things I worried about um, once booking this market was because it is a dedicated plant market I worried that I wouldn't actually have enough plants or a wide enough variety of plants plus I'm getting some new products in this week which is super exciting I'm getting in fern fiber you'll already know by now so yeah that's really exciting so I'm gonna have something else to take to the market as well yeah I'm just gonna pop you down on my little table here and I'm gonna get into labeling so I have brand new labels here obviously I'm gonna put the price and what it is on each label Another thing, I'm going to be pricing them also based on their size. I'm just gonna go through them and see, cause some of them, I mean, are like this and have a really nice good sprout going. And then some of them are a little bit smaller, but are still a semi-decent size. Alrighty, so these ones are all Hoya Carnosas and they've all been labeled every single one of them but these two I'm actually going to pot into hanging pots because they are definitely ready for hanging pots and there's no way I could transport that like safely so yeah gonna pot those up and put these back look at this guy he's so happy Today is the 22nd of July and I did a little bit more plant stuff yesterday, just the same thing like picking up plants to take and labeling them and all of that, um, but unfortunately I didn't film any of it because I swear to god it was peeing down with rain for two to three hours straight and it was so heavy and I couldn't even hear myself thinking here with the sound of the rain on the glass house, let alone talk to a camera. So. I am starting again today. I'm gonna to start by showing you what I did yesterday. As you can see, I've added a few more plants down here. I just went through this whole side and picked out everything that I wanted to take from this side. And I will show you down here, a lot of it was hanging plants yesterday. As you can see, all of the Hoya along the front here, a Peperomia, there's some stringer needles in the back there, a lot of chain of hearts, and one at watermelon. And today I'm gonna go through this side and pick everything I need to take off this side and again label them.
plant. It is now the next day again and I have finally finished selecting the plants for the market and I'm going to show you everything I have. I did a final count and it's 106 plants. So you already know this shelf. It's got like my Hoyas, Syngoniums, etc, etc. I'm pretty sure I already showed you this. And then I've got now down here as well. All of these are going to go to the market. Got some trio stars, some scandapsis, some begonia, some calathea. And then of course you've already seen the chain of hearts and some hoya and all of that going down here. And I've made some micans baskets, some trippy baskets and some string of bananas. Good time to turn on, buddy. So, now that that is done, I pretty much don't need to do anything to them apart from obviously care for them and water them for the next two months. Now all I gotta do for that is wait. The show goes on. This is my Hoya Mini Bell, and as you can see, it is very, very long. I just got my shipment of Fern Fiber in, my first shipment, it's now on the website. Go check that out if you haven't already, www.growinggreen.nz. So I'm going to be very sadly propagating this Hoya. A few days later now today a few days a few weeks I think today is the 2nd of August and I got a really exciting shipment of plants in today I got a couple of rare plant cuttings that I'm going to be chopping up and propagating especially for the Hamilton plant lovers market yeah I'm just gonna just show you what I got all right so the first cuttings I got were varicosum cuttings aren't they just the cutest little things you've ever seen so I got two actually I think they were growth tips off somebody's plant so they're just fresh cuttings so I've popped them of course into the magic fern fiber and I'm gonna pop them in my prop box for the next Ooh, how many days? I'm going to double check how many days it is. 49 days until the event. Oh, less than 50 days. That's scary. I need to get organized. I'm obviously going to root them as much as I can before selling them on. This plant that I got, I'm actually kind of just starting to fall in love with. The Philodendron Campos Portoanum. I just love the shape of those leaves. I'm super stoked about all these little rare plant babies. Let's put them in the prop box. Beautiful. Let's take them to the plant room. So today is the 15th of July and I am starting to work on the macrame hangers for the Hamilton Plant Lover Market. It's a little bit chaotic at the moment but I'm going to go and explain to you what I'm doing and show you how I'm organizing myself and um, yeah. Let's just take a look. So as you can see, I have a lot of hangers already laid out on the floor. These hangers are all like left over from the last marker I did, which was I think back in like May or I think the 1st of June, somewhere around there I did one. But yeah, these are all the hangers that were left over. So what I've done is I have gone through them all, um, counted how many I have of each type of hanger of each color, put it on my computer, and then I've made a sheet that tells me how many of each type of hanger I need to make for the market. But we will get there. Um, I'm just gonna kind of do a couple a day and just kind of boost my way through them and then once they're done I put them in that giant box there which is what I'm going to cart them to the event in so yeah I'm going to start making some hangers the 6th of August and today I am going to be bagging up my lacquer so as you know or you may not know I sell lacquer in bags of one kilo I pack everything myself into these mini paper bags weigh it out into one kilo and then staple it up put my sticker on it and we're good to go so I'm going to be doing that today for the market I'm going to spend a very long tedious morning it's dark and gray and gloomy outside which is absolutely perfect to do this kind of a tedious task um, but it's got to be done so yeah let's make a whole bunch of liquor bags. So 
so I have a few miscellaneous tasks to do. Uh, today is the 1st of August, so it is one month and 25 days away, which is really exciting. It's coming up quick. And I had an idea for my store that I needed to make some proper signs finally because I've been using chalkboards and yeah they're cute when you handwrite them and stuff but having to rub them off all the time and I have to hairspray them on because otherwise when you pack them they all rub off. But I've decided that I am going to put them in picture frames. They are three dollars from the warehouse and I'm going to make them into signs. I've already made a mock-up template. Ta-da! I had a bit of fiddling around the other day and that is what they're going to look like because I have so many new items now in the store, the fern fiber, the pots and all that good stuff that I need new signs. So we invested in some $3 frames. Ta-da! There is the first one. The sun is bright today. Mm. Ah. Today is the 9th of September and it would have been just over two weeks out from the plant market. And I say, oh, the sun. And I say would have been because if you didn't know, the Delta variant of coronavirus has reached our shores now. We've been free of it for so long. We went into a lockdown the day after we had one case of Delta in our community. It saved lives and I'm thankful for it. However, that has meant that that was about, I think, five weeks before the market was supposed to happen. So I was like, okay, that's not so bad if we lock down for, you know, a couple of weeks and, you know, get rid of it. And it's should still be fine to go ahead but here we are almost a month later it is Thursday today and it will be a month on Tuesday that Auckland has been in a level 4 lockdown at the moment the rest of the country is in level 2 which means that they have freedoms to go out to shops obviously they have to wear masks and social distance and sign in and all of that but Auckland is taking one for the team and we are still in a level 4 lockdown a month later which means the Hamilton Plant Lovers Market is in a level 2 zone and Auckland is still in a level 4 zone the Hamilton Plant Lovers Market organizers have had to make a decision and it is a decision that I wholeheartedly agree with with and they have decided to postpone the event until November the 13th which is in two months. I'm very thankful for them for making this decision a little bit far in advance it's only two weeks but um <laughs> it's as much of notice that they could possibly have given us. It is very sad that it is not going ahead now on the planned dates but it is absolutely the right decision to make. I'm so happy that they thought of us here in Auckland because a third of their stall holders are Aucklanders so even if they were in level two and able to hold the event um, a lot of us Aucklanders would have missed out so I really appreciate them for thinking of us Aucklanders because we still definitely really want to come. So um, that is it for this video. I just wanted to say thank you guys for all of your support. I've had a lot of really really nice messages over lockdown and even watching these videos helps me a lot and liking and commenting and sharing um, is really appreciated during these tough times so yeah I will come back in hopefully a month or so and start making another video on preparation for the November market yeah it is what it is it is what it is I will keep you updated make sure to follow me on my social media accounts my Facebook page my Instagram they're all linked down below I really encourage you to go out there and support small businesses during these times I have a really exciting project coming up so yeah thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it even though the ending was definitely not what I hoped it would be um, but if you did enjoy it please make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below it lets me know what kind of content you guys like me to create and also hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more from this channel thank you so much for your support and all your kind messages and I will see you in my next video which will hopefully be um, the new special project that I'm working on hopefully because I have a package that is stuck at the border because they can't find the paperwork that is plastered all over the outside of the box gotta love it gotta love it <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye I run my own small hut all right, house plants. I hate loud cars. Hello everyone, today is the 9th of September. Oh. 
hopefully it will still go ahead there. Oh, the sun is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. 